In Bethlehem Steel v. Turner Construction, we explore the circumstances under which contractual interpretation is a question of law for the court to decide. Mutual Life Insurance Company of New York hired Turner Construction as the general contractor for the construction of Mutual's new office building. Pursuant to a subcontract between Turner and Bethlehem Steel, Bethlehem agreed to furnish, erect, and paint the building's structural steel. The subcontract listed a steel price of $182 per ton. The subcontract further provided that prices were based on the prices for, quote, component materials, labor rates applicable to the fabrication and erection thereof, and freight rates, unquote, that were in place on the date of the subcontract. If material prices, labor rates, or freight rates changed prior to the completion of the work, the contract price would be adjusted accordingly. Bethlehem ultimately charged $10 more per ton of steel than originally quoted. The higher price reflected the publicly quoted price that Bethlehem charged everyone who purchased steel from its mill. The higher price was also consistent with the price regularly charged in the steel trade. When Mutual and Turner, which we'll refer to collectively as Mutual, refused to pay the price increase, Bethlehem sued them in New York State Court. Bethlehem contended that the phrase prices for component materials referred to the materials involved in the erection and fabrication of the structural steel, like plates and rivets. Mutual, on the other hand, argued that the phrase referred to the raw materials used to make steel, such as ore and scrap. In support of its position, Mutual relied on the testimony of its controller, who claimed that his understanding of the subcontract was consistent with Mutual's position in the litigation. The special term denied Bethlehem's summary judgment motion. The appellate division reversed, granted summary judgment in Bethlehem's favor, and remanded for an assessment of damages. The special term fixed damages, which the appellate division affirmed. Mutual appealed to the New York Court of Appeals, arguing, among other things, that the appellate division erred in entering summary judgment because the subcontract was ambiguous.